Welcome back. My, my uh, first guest tonight is a very beautiful actress. She stars in The Makeover, which is airing January the 27th on ABC. And she's in this, uh, the big hit, uh, fantastic Silver Lining Playbook movie, which is in theatre. <laughs> I noticed you. It's very nice to see you. Very nice to see you. You look too. great. Thank you. And you, I, I noticed that you didn't let the sound man put the microphone on. You wanted to do it yourself. Um, <laughs> it was it was a wardrobe thing. I feel like this dress is very diaphanous, and I was afraid it was going to diaphanous. Pull it down. <laughs> wow, that's a fantastic word. I wish I knew what it meant. <laughs> I actually don't know what diaphanous means. Um, actually, it, I think it means see-through, but it, this is not see-through. This is very light. It's a very light fabric. It is very, very light fabric. So I, I noticed when I hugged you when you came out, I went, hello. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, a heavy microphone might weigh it down. Right, right, right. I also noticed no spanks. Good for you. Oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for telling them that. No, no, no. I, well, it's good, you know. They, uh, well, good for you. Anyway, well done. Are you going to... Uh, are you going to Sundance this weekend? I'm not, actually. I'm in, really? I um, figured you would go there. I don't know why. I... Just because? Just well, you know, you're, you're in good films, and they have good films there. Thank you. Yeah, no, I do actually have a film at Slamdance, but I'm... Also a good... Actually, Slamdance more like Sundance was 10, 15 years ago, I think. Slamdance. If you know what I mean. One plus... I can't do this. Yes, one. exactly. <laughs> one, um, a little more grungy, a little more independent. Yeah. Are you going to Sundance? I'm not going to any of them. I'm no longer in the film business. I'm a corporate weasel now. <laughs> Yeah. It's the way it goes. When, when exactly did you become a corporate weasel? Like 20 minutes ago? No. Uh, I think... I think I've always kind of been a corporate weasel. It was just buried. Uh, yeah, it was, it was buried underneath some kind of pretense at rebellion. But I, I think... I think it was, are, you, are you a very rebellious personality? Do you find yourself very, um... diaphanous? <laughs> um... Rebellious, yeah. I've become more and more rebellious in my as I as I've gotten older. Really? I think so. Yeah. God, Just that's sort of great. Like, I'm impressed by that because I've gone the opposite way. You were you were quite a bad. I was boy. very bad, but now I play golf and stuff. <laughs> I mean, what the hell's that? Do you... <laughs> I think that sounds fun. Really? Oh, well, golf actually is fun. Do you play golf? No. No. I... <laughs> but I wish that I did. No, I wish that I did too. I I actually only started like six months ago. I don't believe a word that is that's coming out true, of your That's true, that's true. I swear it's true. I, when I turned 50, I thought, I bet I should learn how to play golf. And so I, I, I'm starting, and I've got golf clubs, and I go up and down, and I golf and stuff. Do you <laughs> go up and down golf courses. <laughs> you just walk. Yeah, I walk up and down. Well, what do you do then? Do you play ultimate frisbee, maybe? Or, uh... No, no ultimate frisbee, no. Yeah. Have you ever played any kind of frisbee? I have very bad hand-eye coordination. That's so... going to work against you in frisbee. Yeah. I, I imagine a lot of frisbees coming, flying at my face. Um, yeah. No, I played soccer because Did you I'm really? better with my feet, I think. Yeah, yeah, that's a beautiful game, soccer. I it enjoy is. soccer, yeah. Not to play, I'm very bad at it, but to watch. Okay. Yeah. Nobody needs to see a 50-year-old Do you watch guy. golf on TV? I do. Why? I, because, I don't know. I think what it is is this. I watch, I, first of all, it's on CBS, so it's awesome. Uh, Good one. Uh, perfect reason. <laughs> and... And secondly, because I no longer take, uh, you know, drugs. So, <laughs> if I watch golf, I find myself going... Mm, and then they're just going to... Well, yeah, 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 oh, yeah. it's like... And I kind of like, oh, yeah, that's... <laughs> so it's kind of like a downer for you. Yeah, it's, it's like a little... Pills. It's little daddy's easygoing heroin. Okay. That's what it is. I think there's a song about that. Yeah, there is, actually, I'm sure. <laughs> so, uh, what are you up to? Are you still in New York? I live in New York, but I've been spending quite a bit of time here in L.A. Uh, working. That's where you end up a corporate weasel. You have to stay out of here. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, no, you have to be careful. Um, I think uh, of you as a New Yorker. I don't know why. Yeah, but, I mean, I am. Yeah, well, that'll be why. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're from uh, downtown, right? Soho. So, Born see, and raised. When you, you're, a, you're, I guess, I, when I was in Soho in the Lower East Side when I was 21... I'm guessing you were a, a baby. Wait, you lived on the Lower East Side 20, when you were 21, so how many? I was, uh, I was about, uh, it was 1984 I lived there, so I was 21, 22. That was 22. hardcore. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
What happened? To your decor? <laughs> I learned how to play golf. No, no I used but, I mean, to. That was a really dangerous neighborhood. Yeah, it was. But when I moved out, it really calmed down. I, <laughs> I was. Uh, no, I used to live down. Uh, well, actually, Lower East, uh, not Lower East, East Village. I lived above Veneros Bakery. You know Veneros Bakery? Yeah, it's still there. Yeah, I know. I, I go there when I'm there, and they don't give me free stuff. I mention them like crazy on the show, and they're like, <laughs> "That'll be four dollars." I'm like, "Thanks." <laughs> Do they have, they have like a picture up on the wall with no, your no, picture? No, no, they have no like... idea who I am. They have, a, they have a picture of Fallon up in the wall is what they have. Uh, yeah. Ah, never mind. So uh, you think, uh, like, Soho is where you're from though, right? Yes. And Soho is very kind of... Well, now it's really chic and like, and, and there's lots of, you know, fancy clothing stores and it's very crowded. But when I was growing up, it was very industrial. My mom's an artist, so she got our loft like in the 70s. And well, they were... that was the time. That was the time to get it. Yes. Yeah. yeah. You probably got a bit of money in your family now, then. Do you know that my the building that I grew up in was featured in many different movies? Like, the, there's a there's a scene in Independence Day where the, there's a bunch of aliens running down the street. That was Green Street where I grew up. And really? Then Big, the movie Big, when he's jumping on the I, trampoline. Yeah, 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 yeah. If you look out the window, you can see my my childhood Green home. Green Street is where I first kissed my wife. No, uh, no. <laughs> Well, on the mouth is where I first kissed my wife. <laughs> Actually, hang on. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was the mouth. Yeah. <laughs> We're out of time very quickly. The, uh, the Silver Linings Playbook is a massive hit. Oh, it's a, I'm so proud to be part of that yeah, movie. It's, it's great, a... yeah. <laughs> and then, what's the makeover? What's that? The makeover is a, a movie that's kind of like Pygmalion. I play this girl who, who ran for congress in boston and she um loses and she finds this guy to kind of make over and make him the perfect candidate in the really? re-election yes so it's a little bit pygmalion a little bit uh serrano maybe as well because you you know you're the behind the scenes kind of uh work in the yeah, yeah. sure sure i have it's been a while you know uh, maybe what i said there was a little diaphanous <laughs> that actually probably works the way you just use that really? word my god that's so. that's that's a coincidence <laughs> Well, we're out of time. Uh, you want you want you want a quiet moment? Um, a, literally a quiet moment. Yeah. Well, I, I don't mean. I, I'm silence? not saying. Do you want to go to the bathroom? I mean, <laughs> do you want to do you want a quiet moment? We'll have a quiet moment. We'll you know everyone else. Can just... we hold hands? Sure. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful, if I may say to you. That's so lovely of you to say it. Well, say and I'm saying it again. for no money whatsoever. That'll be twelve hundred dollars. Well, wait, now you, you, that makes sense. No, uh, well, it's an. You I, have to pay me to. Give I have me to a pay. Compliment. I have to pay you. To, no, you don't. Yeah, I'll take no, it for no. You, maybe that's my thing. That's my weird thing. I have to compliment women. Could be a fetish. <laughs> I don't think it's one that you'd have to pay a lot for, though. No. Uh, it's, it's, you play a, a, a prostitute then in this. Uh, yeah, I mean, you could call it uh, escort. Escort, call right. Girl, prostitute, hooker, whatever you want to call it. She gets paid to have sex with people. <laughs> I literally I'm was like almost plugging. almost certain that's a prostitute. I, it is. I uh, was plugging my ears backstage. I can't. I get so nervous seeing some scenes from that show. What, does it get racy? Yeah, and it's just embarrassing. Like, I'm, I don't know. You, try being me watching this show. <laughs> I never do, of course, because we're you live, and totally, how could I post? You what? totally sit at home. You go, you go home at the end of the workday and sit and watch yourself. Oh, and really? Like, Damn, I'm good. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah, <clears throat> it's like you know me. Uh, <laughs> no, I don't. Do you watch yourself when you no. get... No, man, no. I don't want to see it. 
Yeah, it's like listening to your voice on an answering machine. Message. Yeah, it's yeah. Like, ah. It's like, oh, no, or catch and sight yourself when you walk by the store, the TV store, and there's, the, you know. <laughs> but it would be, I mean, that's a good thing. It would be a little bit weird if we were like, I love watching myself. That would be weird. Yeah, I think I am quite weird then. <laughs> okay. No, no, it would be weird. You don't want to do that. So, listen, tell me what the, the show's on watchwigs.com. Watchwigs.com. So, it's a channel that was created um, for YouTube, I guess. Uh, right. And, and, and now they air some of, the, some of the show Blue that you just saw is aired on Hulu as well. All right. It's Hulu, I've heard of. Watchwigs, I'm not familiar with. Well, go check it out. I will. And, and <laughs> do you have to have a wig? <laughs> Did it start with wigs? Was it a wig channel? Uh, no, no, no. It's every every show on the channel is like uh, the title of, is a woman's name, and it centers around a female character. And the I guess wigs is sort of like where it gets interesting, where it gets sexy, where uh, it gets sinister, where it. Gets... <coughs> so it's nothing to do with you know where it gets on your head. Yeah. <laughs> no, not yet. <laughs> and then. <laughs> so how many did you make then? Uh, we've made a lot of blue. We're filming right now our, the third season, although the episodes are shorter than regular television. Right, um, okay. So we're now into like, I think it might be something like 60-something episodes. Holy right? crackers. And then Paloma's the show that I write and direct. I'm not in that. Oh. Um, Grace Comer is the What's star. Paloma about then? It's about relationships. <coughs> Uh-oh. No, it's yeah. about... Um, <laughs> it's about love and, and uh, monogamy and... and Possession, too. Like, possession? Like yeah. demonic possession? Like, oh, ah, <laughs> like that? <laughs> Throw a little of that in. People enjoy that. Okay. Did you ever, have you ever been in a scary horror movie? Not like The Exorcist where somebody's... Yeah, I think it's time for you to do a possession movie. Um, interesting. Can you do that again? I've... Blah! <laughs> Should I try? Yes, of course. How much will you pay me? <laughs> 600 pieces of candy an hour. Um, no, you don't have to. I don't want to force uh, you into, you know, being possessed. Maybe if you just say please. Sure. Tell uh, me I'm beautiful again and I'll do it. You are beautiful. It's absolutely no... Blah! Oh, what? You see what we do? Yeah. Let me ask you a question. Are you in therapy? Uh, do you get therapy? <laughs> I, I am, indeed. Is it hypnotherapy you got? No, no, that's scary. That's like where you go under? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Why would you do that? You could find out if you're possessed. Okay. <laughs> I know I'm not possessed, and no, I'm not in hypnotherapy. How would you know you're not possessed if you haven't had it checked out by a qualified <laughs> hypnotherapist? <laughs> but they could easily just tell you afterwards, oh, yeah, you're possessed by the devil, and you would have no clue because you're unconscious. And they could film it? That's weird. Yeah, that'd be weird, yeah. I don't know, I'm gonna therapy? have it done, I'm having it done. Are you in therapy? Yeah, oh, all the time, yeah. 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 I, I definitely need it. No, do you get therapy? I mean, really, is it Jungian, Freudian, what is it? I, uh, I don't know what you call it. No, I just you go and talk to somebody. Um, yeah, I think yep. it's very healthy. I think as, a, as an artist, it's good to explore Absolutely. You know, yourself. Let's, let's do something now, I'll be your therapist. In front of an audience of people, great. Yeah. <laughs> they're not people, they're cheap dogs, I know. <laughs> All right, uh, let's see. So, you're not possessed. You're quite sure of that. Positive. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you look skeptical. Well, it's only that when someone is very positive about how they are, I ask the question, then why did you come to therapy? <laughs> <laughs> because you told me to. <laughs> um, I'm self-possessed sometimes? Self-possessed, ah, I see. Then know. why would you be in therapy? What are you hoping to achieve from this visit to therapy? I've been having a recurring nightmare. Ah, what is it? That my teeth are falling out. Mm -hmm, and classic. I've... Really? Mm -hmm. Everyone has that. <laughs> well, then maybe I don't need to be in therapy because Well, it's let normal. me be the judge of that. Keep going. Okay. <laughs> um, but how much is this costing me? By 600 the... an hour. You know what you don't do that I really appreciate? You don't do the, like, looking at the clock and it, we're going to have to wrap this up kind of thing. No, uh, he hates that I don't I do that, patient. but I don't do that. Yeah. <laughs> now, um, let's so, see. So, teeth falling out. I've heard it's anxiety. It's a loss of control. However, I did just have to have root canal. So, I feel like maybe now, uh, Freud can suck it. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, I think my diagnosis is this. You're possessed. <laughs> okay. You're possessed by an evil dentist. Oh. That would be $600. This is Bill May Insurance. All right. Uh, we'll be right back with Julius Isle. We'll right Welcome back, everybody. 
I'm here um, with the demon that is possessing this beautiful actress. <laughs> yeah, you're all right. We're out of time, actually. Do you know that? Oh. No, you and I, we can continue Therapy's, our relationship. Ther but uh, uh, <laughs> The show, you know, the show is out, out of time. Oh. Well, we, 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 we were cancelled during the commercial break. That's it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, well, sorry. these things happen. We had a good run. So no more therapy? Yeah, we can have more therapy if you want. Can I come back tomorrow and do more therapy? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Let me ask you, though, why would you come back tomorrow when we haven't completed today? I just thought you said that the show was over. I'm so confused. Well, you... why would you believe me, though? Oh. I mean, clearly I work in show business, therefore I cannot be trusted. And you're smoking. You're not smoking. You're just holding a pipe up to your mouth, too. That's... You're not Does that actually... disturb you? <laughs> Would you like creepy. me to seduce you? Is that what you're trying to tell me? It's a little bit creepy. Is it really? Do you want a pipe then to match my creepiness? Oh my God, that was a quote from Batman. What? Would you like me to seduce you? Is no, that... it was from oh, The Graduate. Oh, The Graduate. Wait, what am I talking yeah. about? <laughs> no, I, feel, oh, I don't know why. I just had the image of Prince. Like when Pr Prince did that Bat Dance song. Oh, yeah. See, I also... He, might have, he to... might have said that too in that movie. But it's originally said in, in The Graduate. Yes. That's I'm true. Mrs. Robinson. You're Benjamin. I'll take it. I'll All take right. that. Would See, you I like me to seduce you? I've, there's something about this couch that is kind of like therapy where you feel the need to just say stuff that you don't really mean. Like, that was a quote from Batman. <laughs> it really it wasn't. My mind made a lot of leaps. Well, that's all right. That's why we're in therapy. <laughs> Calm those leaps down and make your mind meander a little more so you can relax. Do you sleep well? I do. I love sleeping. Really? How much sleep do you get in a night? Um, I said sleep like uh, sleep. Sean Connery. Yeah. <laughs> sleep. I'll continue the rest of the therapy as Sean Connery. That's excellent. Can I, can I have a pipe? Can I Yes, yes. What would you like? Uh, crack or tobacco? <laughs> <laughs> I, like the, I like the brown one. You like this one? Or yeah, it hasn't been touched pipe. at all. It's got a fresh... Uh, you just nib. touched it. <laughs> you just got your fingers all over it. Uh, now it's got backwash on it. Oh, it's fine. I don't want a yeah. backwash pipe. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. It doesn't have backwash. Come on, it's just like we made out without all the trouble. <laughs> I'm gonna all right, wash it in your own cup, cup there. Oh, God. <laughs> Women. Yeah, that, that went a place, didn't it, that water? You splashed yourself right there. <laughs> yeah. Things got a little wet T-shirt there for a minute. <laughs> Sorry, I went too far. You're right. Let's click pipes. Cheers. All right. We'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back. Everybody, Julia Starr. Hey! Hey! Hi, Julia. Hi. You look very nice. You are such a gentleman. Well, you do. You look really lovely, very elegant and Thank sophisticated you. and beautiful. Black will do that. Yes. I think. I do it. This is kind of blue, but... You, just, you, you, you know, the only reason I come on the show is because you flatter me every time. Really? Yes, so keep going. Ah, uh, well, uh, <laughs> your hair is very nice and you smell like biscuits. <laughs> okay, next. Um, <laughs> that clip looked riveting. I want... Did you write that? I did. That whole clip? Snowflakes. Yes. Um, How did you know my secret name? <laughs> Snowflakes. That sounds like your stripper name. It is. Anyway, look, um, you wrote... I, is this a departure for you? I haven't seen you do this before. Though. I wrote and directed the show Paloma. I had been working on Blue um, as an actress. It's, a, it's another show on the same channel. Right. Um, for two years, and when they asked me to come back, I was like, could I write and direct something for you? And so I wrote it. Um, it's about a girl who has a very flirtatious relationship with her boss that gets her into trouble. It's kind of, it's kind of like a, a very, it's similar to girls. It's right. about and, relationships and, it, and dating. It is, she's not related in any way to Paloma Picasso. No. In any way. No. Have you ever met Paloma Picasso? No. I have. Tell me. I have met Paloma Picasso. <laughs> <laughs> and what did she say? What she did said, she do? She said, very nice to meet you. And moved on. She talks like that. I don't know, I can't remember, I was drunk. But anyway, look, the, <laughs> The, the thing is, I, I mean, I'm a big fan of Picasso, but Picasso's not in this. Is, is no, he? no, no. It's just no. Uh, the girl's name is Paloma. Right. 
<laughs> well, I'm sure it'll be fine, but you, maybe you probably want to get Picasso in at some point. Okay, maybe next season. There are a lot of people in the world named Paloma besides Paloma Picasso. I had no idea. How many? Like five. Five? <laughs> <laughs> they all live in Spain. Really? Yeah. Now, is your, is your heroine Spanish? No. There's a, that's actually in the first season she explains that. It was just that her parents wanted her to sound exotic. Ah. <laughs> that's my story, too. I'm not really from Scotland. Like, what would your, what would your Spanish name be if it weren't... If, if my name, well, Craig is a Gaelic name. It means rock. So it actually means Peter. That's what my name would be in English. So translated into Pedro. Pedro, yeah. Okay. It would be Pedro. Oh, that was great. We did a thing there. <laughs> that was really good. We did, well, what about Julia then? What would that be? That's Julia. Huli, Huli, it's Julia, but Julia? With an H. Yeah, but that's, that's, that's beautiful too. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I saw skywriting recently with I Love Julia in the sky. Did you Shut see up. I no, did, you... I really did. Did you actually see it? I did, did, I saw because... it. Wait, oh, this is blowing my mind because I saw it too. Well, it was in the sky, Julia. <laughs> <laughs> but of course, if you saw... So I was hiking in Los Angeles on one of my favorite trails and it was Valentine's Day and I saw... I was like so in my own head listening to music and I looked up and I was like, oh, I heart such and such. And I was like, what are they going to write? That's so cute. And then all of a sudden it was Jay... You and I was like, shut up. Shut up, yeah. And they wrote, I heart Julia. Now, I'm not self absorbed enough to think that it was for me. It was probably for Julia Ormond. Well, or. But, uh, I don't know, it made my day. Yeah, it was lovely. Are you a very romantic person? Yes. If you wanted to write my name in the sky, I heard that, like, uh, Uber cost, was charging $500 on Valentine's Day to do that. Craig, you could have just taken me out to dinner. Yes. Can we just I, pretend that it was for me? Yes, absolutely. I, I, I wish I'd thought of that. I, uh, you know, I thought the skywriting would have been more of a surprise, you know. <laughs> Plus, I'm a vegetarian now, I think. Or maybe that was last night. Look, <laughs> whatever it is. Tomorrow you can be a vegetarian. Yeah, are you a vegetarian? I was for a really long time. Me too. And it, was it Glasgow Airport, the bacon roll? No. <laughs> no. You guys are into the weird stuff, uh, Cornish pasties? Yeah, well, that's not weird, Cornish it's weird. pasties. Those it's weird. not weird. Yeah, it's... that would make me a vegetarian. What, but, uh, th 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 why? It's just a sausage inside pastry. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> well, meat inside a pie is a good thing, I think. It only makes, well, that makes me think of, like, Sweeney Todd and, like, the, the butchers that... Yes, the, yes, the, delicious, the... delicious. It all sounds delicious meat to me. Meat pies, no. Yeah, meat pies. You don't like meat pies? Do you like mint sauce? Y Isn't that like a... That's mint like... sauce? Yeah, you have it with certain types of meat. No, no, no. No, like mince, mince pies. Oh, mince pies. Yeah. That's not... That's, that's not, not mint sauce. That's... Mint sauce. Mince sauce. So like... I'm sorry, it's I... It's like a jelly... Just... <laughs> <laughs> what are we talking Excuse about? Excuse me a second. <laughs> yes, hello? Yeah, she's, yeah, yeah, she's... Yeah, hello. You want to speak to Julia? I would love to. Okay, hold on. Oh, it's that old broad? Yeah. <laughs> on the old timey telephone, hello. Yeah. Hello, dear. Having uh, some trouble with your words today, are we? <laughs> I hate that woman. She's so mean. Do you want me to stick up for you? Yes! I will throw down. Throw down! You sound like a man. <laughs> wow! Wow! That was great! Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Wow! Oh, no. Is sounding like a man a bad thing? Because I don't, so it's good. But... <laughs> if your name is Miriam, yeah. Yes, I guess. Yeah. <sighs> I only did that for you. I'm not really not a mean person. Yeah, you didn't strike me as being mean at all. That was a lovely thing you did sticking out for me. I liked it. I, w I wish I had taken you out for dinner and put right sky lettering for you. I wish I did, of course. <laughs> Why were you out hiking? Do you have a dog? I don't have a dog. I actually don't even really live in L.A. I live in New York, but I'm here temporarily, and I was... One of my favorite things to do is hike here. That's... Do you like to hike in different. New York? <laughs> There's nowhere to hike in New York. Yeah! <laughs> you walk up and down Central Park. You can hike flat. There's a lot of good walks. Well, do you, do you, you, can, you can run. You can run in Central Park sure. or, or go on a bicycle. Sure, I like to run. Or one of these old-timey bikes with the one big wheel and the one little wheel. No, I would fall off of that. Oh, that come way. on. Give it a try. <laughs> have you ever tried? No, I'm scared. Well, there you go. So am I. Really? We Maybe got that we should try it us. together. 
Well, then we would definitely fall off the bicycle. <laughs> You're thinking of a bicycle built for two. Daisy Daisy, that's the name of that song. Do you know that song? No. Daisy Daisy, give me your answer do. I'm half crazy over the love of you. You don't know that song? No. Oh, it was very popular in the 1890s. I'm surprised that you don't know. <laughs> yeah, it's a song about, my grandmother used to sing it to me when I was a child. Oh. It was about a couple that went cycling on a bicycle built for two. Lovely. Yeah, good times. <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> do you want any chocolate or anything? No, um... Do we have a little time left? Sure. Do you want to do the therapy session? Absolutely, but we have to take a commercial break. Oh, okay, sorry, I jumped the gun. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> I'm sorry, I rang the bell. That means we have to... <laughs> means we have to speak German. Oh, okay. Every time I ring the bell, we have to speak German. Did you speak German in some movies, the Bond movies? I didn't speak German, but I learned a little bit of German. I see. I can say really random things in German. Can you say any cuss words in German? Mm-hmm. Please oh. begin. Okay. <laughs> das ist... Auf Wiedersehen. We'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back. No, we're back. Welcome back, everyone. I'm here with Julia Stiles, who's uh, got a few problems she'd like to discuss mm. with me. I'm a therapist and also run a bar. The two. <laughs> Tell me about your childhood. What do you want to know about my childhood? It Did was you... happy. <laughs> it was? Yes. Yet you work in the performing arts. <laughs> True. <laughs> You seek the approval of strangers. That's right. Why? Uh, um, can we talk about dreams? No! <laughs> but this is, I'm, this is my therapy session. All I can right, talk about whatever fine. I want. Tell me about your dreams. Um, like most, okay, so psychoanalyze this one. Okay. The most recent one, uh, somebody had broken into my house and I had to hit, it was a woman. Mm -hmm. I had to hit her across the head with a giant bottle. Yes. And that was kind of it. You are repressing your sexuality. <laughs> no. Pretty the sure The bottle not. represents the penis. And the woman represents the woman. And the house represents... A, a house. <laughs> Do you are, you, are you... Can I fire my therapist? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> no. Oh, me? Sorry, no, you can't fire me. <laughs> yeah, you. Wait, are you, you in go... therapy right now? Um, I go to therapy. Yeah, me too. Yeah. I'm a complete... But I'm a perfect therapy. human being, so I actually really don't need to go to therapy. Yeah. <laughs> me too, yeah. Once a week, I roll up to that woman's office and tell her all my stuff and... And then... I feel a little better. Yeah, well, I you feel should. it's like house cleaning a little bit. Sure. You know what I mean? Like, just kind of getting into the dark corners and, you know, give it a good clean. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah, like brushing your teeth. Yeah. <laughs> with, a, with a big, giant brush. A soul brush. A brush soul for your brush. soul. soul. Soul brush was the name of the, one of the forgotten bands of Woodstock, I believe. <laughs> good night. We are soul brush. <laughs> soul brush. We rock. Well, we're done here. That's it? Yeah. Oh. Well. Who's that, everybody?